you've not been watching me for a while. Recently, I exposed Charles Chase. Uh, good guy. I like him. But he's definitely a uh, Black Project Engineer BPTG. Definitely near the top of the list when it comes to people who know about the technology. Built a compact fusion reactor for Lockheed Martin. He brought together a bunch of free energy microchip engineers. And he did uh, some presentations. And one of those presentations was by Paul Thibodeau or Paul Thibodeau. I'm not sure how you say his name. And he's from University of Arkansas, I believe. Maybe Arizona. Arkansas, I think. And his free energy microchip was a graphene microchip. Graphene. That was harnessing the Brownian motion of thermal energy. Natural ambient thermal energy to create essentially what is a permanent battery. What is a battery that it's 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 null point, its equilibrium is above zero. Meaning you drain the battery and it just recharges itself. Can you imagine a battery where you, you drain the battery and it just recharges itself? And if you try to overcharge it, then it goes back to its equilibrium. How crazy is that? And how do they do it? How does he do it? Graphene. Graphene. And why is it possible? Because graphene has very high electron drift velocity. So you guys know those videos of taking a copper tube, you drop your magnet through it and the magnet goes really, really slow and you can catch it on the bottom. Graphene is like the opposite of that. The electrons in graphene are zipping along super fast, super fast. And so now imagine you're going really fast. I, I have an electron that's going this way really fast. And now imagine I take a second electron that's going this way really fast. They're going two different directions super fast. What would happen? Oh, the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect happens because now we're achieving speeds in opposite directions that are becoming relativistic. Like we're now getting to a point where the light between the two, from the perspective of each electron, it looks like as because it's getting further away, we're now achieving speeds where we're getting really high, really high. And so when you look at Paul Thibodeau's paper, you'll see that the only way it works, the only way it works is when you have the circuit where the electrons are going in opposite directions like this. If you make them go in the same direction, it doesn't work. If you go the opposite directions, it does work. Spicy. Ashton, Ashton is accelerating our demise. Chat, it's uh, no lies detected. No lies detected. So let's take a look at this real quick. I'm just going to read this post here from Massimo or whatever their names is. Graphene just broke the fundamental laws of physics. Graphene's out here breaking all the rules. We're doing a movie uh, trailer. Graphene is breaking all the rules, chat. It's breaking all the rules. Its electrons just did something physicists thought was impossible. For nearly 200 years, metals have obeyed the weidmann france law. The rule that electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity always rise and fall together. Uh-oh. But in ultra-clean graphene, researchers at the Indian Institute of Science found the opposite. Uh-oh. As electrical conductivity increased, thermal conductivity dropped, shattering a principle they thought in every textbook. Now, why is this interesting? This same concept of this relativistic motion in one of the other videos that, that Charles Chase did, one of the guys argues that we can get negative entropy. That if we accelerate our electrons in different directions, then what actually will happen is that hot or cold will move to hot. Normally, when we think about thermodynamics, we say that Hot always goes to cold. If it's cold over here and it's hot over here, the hot will always go to the cold. But when we achieve these super high relativistic speeds, relativistic meaning moving in different directions, so from each perspective, then all of a sudden cold is going to hot. 
This is a free air conditioning system as well. You're literally producing cold from nowhere. Cold flows to hot. Here you go. Now I've produced a heat or a, a cold pump, a heat pump. I can now refrigerate an area just from building this electrical circuit. So instead of entropy where something is heating up, I have my system and you expect you can't be perfectly efficient. Can't be perfectly efficient because we lose energy to heat. That's the whole idea of thermodynamics. You can never create a perfectly efficient system. Second law of thermodynamics. Can't create a perfectly efficient system because you always lose a little bit of efficiency due to heat. But now we just flipped the game around. Now we just said we're not even producing heat. Now we're producing cold. Now we're producing cold instead. How is that even possible? Oh, I, you know how it's possible, chat. Zero point energy. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Zero point energy. So now he says the key lies in the Dirac point, a strange electric tipping point where graphene is neither a metal nor an insulator. Here, electrons stop behaving like individual particles. Instead, they flow collectively near, as a nearly perfect fluid, a, new, a state called a Dirac fluid. Sounds a lot like a Bose-Einstein condensate to me. Sounds a lot like a macroscopic quantum effect to me, chat. In fact, it sounds exactly like a, a macroscopic quantum effect. We're taking the quantum mechanics, where quantum mechanics, pendulum never stops swinging in quantum mechanics, and we're scaling it up. Remember, what just won the Nobel Prize? What just won the Nobel Prize? Macroscopic quantum tunneling. We are entering the quantum age. Zero point energy 2025 is here right now. You are literally in the middle of disclosure. This is more disclosure than you will ever get from an interview between Tim Burchett and, and Tucker Carlson. This is more disclosure than you will ever get from any UFO hearing ever. Now it says the discovery doesn't just rewrite the rules for graphene. It produces a tabletop window into extreme physics, usually reserved for black holes and high energy colliders. Scientists say this behavior could help probe the mysteries of the quantum entanglement. There it is. There it is, chat. This could help probe the mysteries of quantum entanglement. Why? Because quantum entanglement is just manipulating the ether, manipulating the zero point energy. Where is the negative energy coming from? Where is the negative entropy coming from? This is positive. This is negative. We're at the surface of the ocean. So what we're finding is we're finding materials, we're finding science, we're finding physics that is interacting with the zero point energy. I am the world's first zero point energy influencer. Sorry, Nassim Haramine. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, yes, you were kind of there before me, but I stole the title. I got the crown. I got the belt. I got the championship belt, baby. Scientists say this behavior. Oh, yeah. Black hole. So scientists say this behavior could probe the mysteries of quantum entanglement, black hole thermodynamics, and the very fabric of matter itself. Feels good, chat. It feels good to be hanging out in Ashton's. I always write about everything'sville. Actually, that's we, we chat, not just me. Not just me, guys. You guys can get the next door in the pen, next door to the penthouse. We've got a high rise. Ready for every high Q zero point energy influencer. Everybody gets a room. Everyone gets in a room about I always write about everything. We were about how many months ahead of this are we? We were at least six months ahead of this by watching Charles Chase and Paul Thibodeau's video. So if you are wondering, you're like, hey, you're you're new. If you just got red pilled yesterday and you've just been following this recently, you might want to go back through the live streams, go back and take a look at Paul Thibodeau. And the, that the live stream, then you will understand we are way ahead of the game on everything. Way ahead of the game on zero point energy, way ahead of the game on fusion, way ahead of the game on their stupid UFOs and their little alien grift.